My name is Bailey Perry. I'm 12 years old. I put this video up as motivation for anyone who is struggling. Hold up, wait a minute. People see the version of me now, and they assume it's genetics and I'm gifted. But they don't see the days it was hard. I couldn't dribble, I didn't have coordination, and I couldn't shoot. But that didn't get me down. I knew that if I wanted it bad enough, if I out-hustled everyone, if I put in the work, I'd get better. Morning, Elaine. Wake up. I'll be downstairs, okay? Rise and shine! Please don't wake me up, I feel it creeping. Principle number two, the mind controls the body. So develop the mindset of being uncomfortable and actually look forward to the pain. And your lungs burning because that's how you get better. If the body is comfortable, it doesn't have a reason to change. But when you crank up the intensity, that's when the magic happens. Comfort makes you weak. Principle well, number three, real confidence comes with reps. The more you practice, the more confidence you build. And you go out and test it in real life. So don't be afraid to work. I want to show you this part because not everyone is off the start. As they say, it doesn't matter how you start. Never, ever, ever feel sorry for yourself. That never helps you. Just ask, what are you doing about it? Just get to work. Microphone check, mic, microphone checker. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? I'm so proud of my daughter, Mei Ling, for making this video. She wanted to share part of her journey because so many other people were probably going through the same thing that she did. So as a parent, I want to break some of this down so the video has more relevance. It has a little bit more sauce on it, if you will, all right? So you, you know a little bit more about the backstory. So Mei Ling play, has played basketball for a year now, and when you start anything new, of course you're going to struggle with some things, especially in your mind. You're going to doubt yourself. You're going to have some fears that you need to overcome, right? You're going to be too hard on yourselves. When you're new, you're comparing yourself to the people who are around you, and they probably have a lot more experience than you do. And so when you look at them relative to yourself, you're going to say, oh man, I kind of suck, which is a good thing. It means you're trying something new. Whenever you try something new, of course you're not going to be good at it because you don't have the skill set yet. You have to build that part up. You don't have the mindset yet. You don't have the physical ability yet, right? So you have to acquire tools in order to get good. And I, the reason why I love that she was not good off the start is because it's a really good learning lesson. See, when people see her now, they assume, and I get this all the time, she's so talented, she's so gifted, she's so athletic, it looks like she just picked up the basketball and she was good off the start. But that wasn't the case, right? When she first started a year ago, she couldn't dribble, she couldn't shoot, she didn't have coordination, the balance was really bad, and so it really made her struggle at the beginning. The beautiful thing is she's 
willing to work. So her mind is strong. So she came to me and my wife, Susan, and she said, mom, dad, I want to get better. Can you help me? Whenever you can get a kid to associate this hard work is going to create results Woo, it lasts for a lifetime and you can build off of that so the next time she tries something new and she has doubts and she has fears and she's not good at it off the start she can go back to this last experience remember when I started basketball and I just I was like a deer that was just bored I was wobbling all over the place couldn't dribble right just clumsy she could relate back to that and say oh look how much work I put in look how far I've come I love that she wasn't hot off the start because it makes her have to work hard now if she was if she was awesome from the beginning she probably wouldn't work as hard so I think it's beautiful that the struggle is there and just if you're struggling right now if you have a child that's struggling remind them and help them understand that the struggle is actually good if you look back at your life the times where you grew the most is actually when you struggled right it wasn't the time when you had the success it was the struggle because the struggle made you have to kick it up a gear it made you have to get more knowledge it made you have to work harder right you had to do something different to overcome it when you succeed all the time you just think well I'm good as I am that's why I won and you, you tend not to grow. So for Mei Ling, it was a lot of strength, conditioning work, and then also balance work. <laughs> oh, dang, that's high. <laughs> So we had to do a lot of that in the gym and I'll show future videos with more detail on this. And then also we had to, of course, incorporate repetitions because the way that you gain confidence in something is reps, do it over and over and over. And if you're shooting all the time and you're dribbling all the time, right? And you, you start feeling more confident, like, oh, I could do this, I get this. Because if you're making buckets, 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 well, of course, when you get in the game, you're gonna feel confident that you can make shots, right? Repetition is required in any walk of life I mean we're talking about in business and any sport repetition is required now we've got a crazy schedule so many days it was before school I just wake her up we'd go in early she had a great attitude because she was like let's get the work in like if I had to push her I just wouldn't do it right I would I would tell her this you don't really want this right because I'm having to push you I don't want to do that I want you to push me I want you to tell me how bad you want this I just want to be the person that provides a solution for you so whether you're the athlete or you're a parent of an athlete subscribe to the channel I'll have many more videos where we're talking about specifics of training how to get fast strong create balance we'll talk about nutrition and we'll also talk about recovery I'm just James Perry. That was my daughter, Maylene Perry. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. From us to you, peace. <laughs> Have a great day.